The Suez Canal is a man-made waterway located in Egypt that connects the Mediterranean Sea to the Red Sea. Here are some key historical facts and lesser-known details about the canal. Construction of the canal began in 1859 and was completed in 1869. It was built by the French diplomat Ferdinand de Lesseps. Ferdinand de Lesseps was a French diplomat and engineer who is best known for his role in the construction of the Suez Canal. Born in 1805, de Lesseps worked in various diplomatic roles in Europe and the Middle East before being appointed as the French consul in Cairo in 1832. It was during his time in Egypt that he became interested in the idea of constructing a canal to connect the Mediterranean and Red Seas. Despite facing numerous challenges and setbacks, de Lesseps was able to secure funding and support for the project, which was finally completed in 1869. He went on to oversee the construction of the Panama Canal, but the project was beset by scandal and ultimately failed. De Lesseps died in 1894, but his legacy as a visionary engineer and diplomat lives on. The construction of the Suez Canal was a major engineering feat that took more than a decade to complete. Here is a brief overview of how it was constructed. Planning. The idea of building a canal to connect the Mediterranean and Red Seas dates back to ancient times, but it was not until the 19th century that serious plans were developed. French engineer Ferdinand de Lesseps was the driving force behind the project, and he secured funding and support from various European powers. Surveying. Before construction could begin, the area around the proposed canal route had to be thoroughly surveyed to determine the best route and the type of terrain and soil that would have to be excavated. Excavation. The excavation of the canal began in 1859, with a workforce of thousands of laborers using shovels, picks, and primitive digging equipment to remove soil and rock. The work was grueling and dangerous, with many workers dying from accidents and disease. Dredging. In addition to manual excavation, dredging equipment was used to remove sand and sediment from the canal bed. Dredging was particularly important in the shallower sections of the canal, where excavation was more difficult. Engineering. The construction of the canal required a number of innovative engineering solutions, including the creation of a freshwater canal to supply the workers with drinking water and irrigation for crops, and the construction of locks and bridges to manage the flow of ships through the canal. Completion. The Suez Canal was finally completed in 1869, and it quickly became a critical trade route between Europe and Asia. The canal has undergone numerous improvements and expansions over the years to accommodate larger ships and increase traffic. The canal was built to provide a shorter route for ships traveling between Europe and Asia, eliminating the need to navigate around the southern tip of Africa. The canal is 120 miles, 193 kilometers, long, 79 feet, 24 meters, deep, and 673 feet, 205 meters, wide. It takes approximately 11 hours to navigate the entire length of the canal. The canal was nationalized by Egyptian President Gamal Abdel Nasser in 1956, leading to a brief conflict between Egypt and several Western powers, including France, Britain, and Israel. In 1956, Egyptian President Gamal Abdel Nasser nationalized the Suez Canal, which had been under the control of British and French interests. The move was seen as a challenge to Western influence in the region and a threat to global shipping. In response, France, Britain, and Israel launched a military campaign against Egypt, which came to be known as the Suez Crisis. Israel invaded the Sinai Peninsula, while French and British forces landed in Egypt with the goal of retaking control of the canal. The conflict quickly drew international condemnation, with the United States and the Soviet Union both calling for an end to the fighting. The United Nations also passed a resolution calling for a ceasefire and the withdrawal of foreign forces. Under pressure from the international community, France and Britain withdrew their forces. While Israel agreed to a ceasefire and the withdrawal of its troops from the Sinai. The crisis marked a significant turning point in global politics, highlighting the shift away from European dominance and towards a more multipolar world. The crisis also had long-lasting impacts on the region, with many in the Arab world viewing it as a betrayal by the Western powers and a reminder of their own vulnerability in the face of foreign intervention. It also paved the way for the rise of Nasser as a symbol of Arab nationalism and anti-colonialism. The Suez Crisis of 1956 ended with a ceasefire and the withdrawal of foreign forces from Egypt. The crisis also highlighted the growing influence of the United States and the Soviet Union in the region, 
as both countries played key roles in mediating the conflict and pressing for a resolution. It underscored the importance of international cooperation and diplomacy in resolving conflicts and preventing further violence. The canal was closed during the conflict, but was reopened in 1957 after a UN-brokered agreement. The canal was widened and deepened in the early 2010s to accommodate larger ships. A project that cost approximately $8 billion. In 2021, the Ever Given, one of the world's largest container ships, became stuck in the canal and blocked traffic for nearly a week, causing a significant disruption to global trade. The Suez Canal is one of the busiest waterways in the world, with thousands of ships passing through it each year. According to the Suez Canal Authority, approximately 19,000 ships navigated the canal in 2020, with a total tonnage of around 1.17 billion tons. The canal is a vital route for global trade, as it provides a more direct and efficient way for ships to travel between Europe and Asia without having to circumnavigate the southern tip of Africa. The canal is particularly important for the transportation of oil and gas, with tankers carrying these commodities making up a significant portion of the traffic on the canal. The canal is a major source of revenue for Egypt, generating approximately $5.6 billion in annual revenue. When the Ever Given ran aground, it caused a backlog of hundreds of ships waiting to transit the canal, leading to concerns about the impact on global trade. To clear the backlog, the Suez Canal Authority worked to redirect ships around the Cape of Good Hope, a journey that can take up to two weeks longer than transiting the canal. At the same time, salvage teams worked to free the Ever Given from its position, which required dredging around the vessel and the use of tugboats to shift its position. After several days of effort, the ship was successfully refloated and towed to a nearby lake for inspection. Once the Ever Given was moved, the Suez Canal Authority worked to clear the backlog of ships waiting to transit the canal, prioritizing those carrying time-sensitive goods. The backlog was cleared in a matter of weeks, with normal traffic flow eventually restored. The incident highlighted the importance of the Suez Canal to global trade and emphasized the need for improved safety measures to prevent similar disruptions in the future. Despite being a man-made waterway, the canal has had a significant impact on the region's biodiversity. The canal has led to the introduction of non-native species into the Mediterranean, and has also caused the loss of freshwater habitats in the area. The canal has also had cultural significance, with many writers and artists drawing inspiration from the canal and its surrounding landscapes. The Suez Canal has a rich cultural history and has inspired numerous writers, artists, and filmmakers over the years. From its opening in 1869, the canal became a symbol of modernity and progress, connecting the East and West and transforming the global economy. Many artists and writers were drawn to the canal's exotic landscapes and cultural diversity, which provided a rich source of inspiration for their work. French novelist Gustave Flaubert visited the canal in the 1850s and wrote extensively about its impact on the region, while British painter John Frederick Lewis captured the vibrant colors and textures of the Egyptian landscape in his paintings. In the 20th century, the canal became a symbol of political and cultural struggle, as Egypt's leaders used it to assert their independence and challenge Western influence. Egyptian filmmaker Yusuf Shaheen explored these themes in his films, including his 1958 classic, Cairo Station, which tells the story of a young man who becomes obsessed with the Suez Canal. Today, the Suez Canal remains an important cultural landmark, attracting visitors from around the world who come to marvel at its engineering and learn about its rich history and cultural significance. The canal was originally intended to be a sea-level canal, but the engineers encountered many obstacles, including rocky terrain and a high water table. As a result, they had to build locks to allow ships to travel through the canal. The Suez Canal was the first canal to use electric lighting, allowing ships to navigate the canal at night. The canal was closed during both World War I and World War II, as it was considered a strategic asset. In 2020, a large container ship called the APL England lost more than 50 containers in the canal, leading to concerns about the impact of shipping on the environment. The incident raised concerns about the environmental impact of shipping and the need for greater regulation and oversight. The lost containers contained a variety of goods, including household appliances, building materials, and medical supplies. Some of the containers were found to contain hazardous materials, including batteries and chemicals, raising concerns about the potential impact on marine life and the environment. 
The incident highlighted the need for stronger regulations and oversight of shipping, particularly in light of the growing volume of cargo being transported around the world. Many environmental groups called for stricter enforcement of existing regulations and the development of new rules to reduce the environmental impact of shipping. The APL England incident also underscored the importance of investing in sustainable shipping practices, such as the use of alternative fuels, improved waste management, and more efficient supply chain management. As the global economy continues to rely on shipping as a key mode of transportation, it is critical that we work to minimize the environmental impact of this industry and protect our planet for future generations. These are just a few of the many fascinating facts about the Suez Canal. Its construction and operation have played an important role in global trade and have had a significant impact on the environment and culture of the region. Tonks for watching, until then like, share and subscribe.